Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are finally playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So excited for this game. Big fan of the, years of the, the Dark Souls games. Japan was consumed Let's jump straight in. into a conflict. The fires of war raged on, <laughs> spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashima. <laughs> Game looks stunning in these cutscenes. Like really, really good. Ooh. Very graphic. Staged a bloody coup and wrested control of the land. Oh. What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose. Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, starving wolf? It sounds like a... Um, On that day, Dolph a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a master shinobi. Listen, wolf. You must never forget the shinobi code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? Wolf, like from Gladiators. Contestant ready. Gladiator ready. Yeah, very excited for this game. Uh, yeah, big fan of the Dark Souls series. Unfortunately, haven't had the chance to play Bloodborne, but I've been watching it. Uh, it looks very good. Um, yeah, very excited. Some 20 years after Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. Oh my! And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy he had sworn to protect. So far, every cutscene looks amazing. I know sometimes some of the older Dark Souls games don't have the best graphics-wise, but this one, stunning. Look forward to seeing some of the Shinobi. crazy landscapes. Open your eyes for the sake of your master. Shinobi.
Do we have grey hair before? Okay, so we're actually into the game. Uh, right, we have both our arms. And it's no spoiler of the item. Ornamental letter, a letter thrown into a well. Kuro's wolf, your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find, find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent, stay vigilant. So we actually have a jump button. B isn't doing anything. Okay. Right. Let's see if there's anything over here first. Oh god. Okay, there's an item over there, but we can't get it. I'm only going to play um, probably the first half hour of this. Maybe a bit longer, depending on where roughly we are at that time frame. Um, I just want to get this recorded and out, because... Yeah, very excited to play this. And I'm sure you guys will be very excited to see what's... Why can't I get up here? There we go. That was strange. So can I go back here and get that other item? Okay, so that's to sneak. Uh... No, it doesn't look like it. There must be a way back at a different point. So if you click uh, left stick in, you go into this sneak mode, I believe. I need some way to heal. Very low on health. Okay, so we've actually got to press to hug the wall. Towards the edge of... Uh, okay, so there are enemies. That's stealth. Advance without being seen by crouching in bushes and moving on the floors. You do not have a sword at the moment. Use stealth to avoid enemies and head to the Moonview Tower. If you're about to be seen, warning markers appear ab above enemies' heads. That shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. I'm not a coward. The moonlight shines strongly in the Moonview Tower tonight. The Divine Heir is probably using the light for his reading again. Probably, but imprisoning a mere child. I feel sorry for the boy. Agreed. But I'm sure Lord Genichiro has his reasons. So you can eavesdrop some conversations now as well. So, I understand this is a much more linear story compared to Dark Souls or Blood Bowl, which is very much um, people trying to figure it out for themselves, almost. Okay, so... No ledge. Ledge hang. Okay, so the... Um, movement aspects of this game is very different to Dark Souls. I mean, you had no option to toggle stealth, you had no jump button. Jump. There we go. So I don't want to drop down. Stop giving me that option. to go. Ooh. Okay, so I've actually got to press to grab in the future. Hello? <gasps> you did well to come here. Thank you. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you, my lord. 
Well then. Raise your head. Raise it. Kusapi Maru, your sword. Kusapi Maru. My shinobi. Yes, that is me, shinobi son. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. So when are we going to lose our arm? As you command. Okay, so we've got the sword. Oh. Kusa Bimaru, a katana given by Kuro, the diviner, an heirloom of the Rata family, a cadet branch descended from Ashina. Once fought lost, it has found its way back into the hands of the wolf. The name Kusi Kusa Bimaru uh, beseeches a shinobi's role to kill, but even a shinobi must not forget mercy, a mantra the blade itself may manifest. Okay, so we have a weapon. Talk to me. Loyal wolf, I see you are wounded. I am wounded. I have something that may help. It is Ooh. a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your... Healing gourd. A gourd filled with vitality restoring medicine. Resting refills the gourd. Made by an apprentice of the extraordinary doctor, Dojin. Though it is strange that the gourd's medicinal waters refill automatically... The seeds within may hold the secret to how it works. Oh my lord. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Mm. No. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it... Signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon uh, as I hear it. But I don't know how. You can cycle through various quick items and use each accordance to the situation. For instance, if you have taken damage, you can recover vitality with the healing gourd. Use quick item up, cycle quick items. Okay. Can I heal, please? Equipment. The equipment menu allows you to change your currently equipped quick items. There are five slots available. Okay. So, quick items, healing gourd, what's a homewood idol? A small palm sized wooden butter can be used repeatedly. Held by the wolf ever since he was saved from by his father, it corners, its corners are rounded with use. This butter is used to return home. It returns to user to last visit to sculptor's idol or the dilapidated temple. That seems a bit um, powerful to have straight away. Hello. Pellet. Medicinal pellets that slowly restore vitality. A secret treatment passed down for generations in these lands. Records say it has been used in battles since times long gone and lent to the famed resilience of Ashina warriors. A pill case full of these pellets was also serve as a battle charm. Uh... So, let's get these pellets on as well. I just want to be fully healed because I know typically that these games love to just kill you. Uh, I'm going to put a death counter on it as well, just so, so we can see truly how many times I actually die. Right, but I assume now, your shinobi's aim is to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When, a vulnerable, the, when an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi death blow. So RB to attack and RB after breaking posture is a death blow. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. My god! Best. 
Kill Bill sort of effects. Sometimes relentless attack is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting enemies' attacks is another way to damage the posture. A master shinobi uses a combination of deflecting attacks to achieve swift victory. Okay, so LB is to parry. Lovely. Okay, so we can charge and attack as well. So it's not just quick attacks. Abby, do any? Abby, right trigger? No. No. By locking on to your target and keeping your enemy in front of you, you find it much easier to attack, deflect, and perform others. So, yeah. Okay. Hello? Yes, there we go. I really want to get good with these deflections. As you can see, uh, very effective in killing enemies. Yes. Oh, this feels great. So I don't know if <laughs> I've just naturally picked the parrying up, or it's easier than oh, leader Shigenori Yami Yamiuchi. A counter slash can be performed immediately after deflecting an attack. This allows you to deal plus damage without giving the enemy time to recover. LB the moment an attack lands, deflect, RB after deflecting counter slash. <laughs> Oh god. Uh beg your pardon. <laughs> okay, we died. Are all the enemies back? The enemies are back. Uh okay. Oh god. That is so violent. Okay, so we've already got one death. Come on, that mate. But we've got full health now, which is nice. Yeah, so I think I got this down. Okay, so we're back at this boss. Oh god. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yes. Uh, some powerful opponents require multiple death blows to be killed. The number of death blows required to kill an enemy is shown up by the red circular markers above their vitality bars. Each death blow removes one marker. Oh, you. Uh, stop it. Okay, so my posture there was very, very high. Yes. Pellet, uh, okay, so got some more pellets. Okay, lovely. Lovely jubbly. Jub, jub. Oh, there's got to be some secrets around here. Yes. Hello, item. Fistful of ash. Ash gripped into a hardened clump. Throw it at an enemy to temporarily distract them. In a sheen, the snow falls thick and thus the health. The hearth runs thick with ash. So 
so... Am I supposed to be going this way? Because it doesn't... Well, it seems alright to be going this way. I assume I could have run across the tree branch as well. to the bottom of the moat, under the bridge. We just got orders to guard it. Mmm. Security's getting tight. War will be upon us very soon. Okay, so I am going the right way, because this is a secret passage. I believe. What the hell is that? Uh, so I seem to go this way. There's items down there. We want the items. More pellets. Okay. That's grand. Let's use a pellet actually. I'm enjoying the... Ooh, hello. No, I can't do anything there. Okay, nowhere else to go. This piece was escape route called the Vinyl of the Reed Whistle, yes. So how is he going to get... Oh, okay. You just appear. I have. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Beat number three, my lord. To think that this is the only way to run from the faded bloodline is the only answer. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? Wow. That's the wolf I know. My lord. My <laughs> lord. I was just reminiscing. Onward then. Let's go, my lord. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh. The divine air. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. Who? Oh, Genichiro. Come on, man. I. Stand back. Thank you. I mean, I'm not going to let you fight it, am I? Get real. This is so pretty. I am Shinobi son. I will defeat you. You face get me to Oh dear. Oh my god. Come on, man. Um. 
Oh. Oh, I'm guessing I was never supposed to win that one. Is that all the shinobi has to offer? Yes. The divine heir will be coming with me. No. Oh, so there's people hiding out in the lovely flowery field anyway. Okay, so that's the end of the game. Thank you guys for watching. I'm kidding. Shinobi san. Oh, that's nice of them to lay a blankie over me. I love the design of the arm. You're awake. Looks like death is not your fate just yet. Cheers, yeah, mate. You too. Okay. Shinobi prosthetic. The artificial arm of a shinobi passed down by the sculptor. A replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of mecha the mechanisms. Apparently designed with modification in mind. While it bears a number of cuts and is stained thick with blood and oil, it has been impeccably maintained. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave that one there for today. Uh, it's roughly the first half an hour of Sh uh, the Shino, baby. Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Enjoying it so far. Some very nice mechanics. Cat attack right now. Um... Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing some more of this. But now, time for the outro. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on it. Comment what you have enjoyed and also what you haven't enjoyed. But most importantly, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I've been Parky P and I shall see you all next time.